Hey folks, Jonathan here from Delicious Brains. As a full stack WordPress developer, I've often found myself in a situation where I needed to debug JavaScript and PHP at the same time. Common examples of this are debugging failing AJAX requests or developing WordPress blocks. I've previously covered how to set up PHP Storm with Xdebug to debug your PHP code, which you can watch at this link. In today's video, I'll take you through the process of enabling the PHP Storm JavaScript debugger so that you can debug your JavaScript code. I'll also show you how you can debug both at the same time. Before we get started, if you prefer to follow this tutorial online, check out the link in the video description. First up, a quick note on browsers. In the PHP Storm with Xdebug video, I'm using Firefox and the PHP Storm debug extension for Firefox. However, JavaScript debugging only works on Chrome or Chromium-based browsers. So make sure to install the Xdebug Chrome extension for debugging PHP if you haven't already, and enable it for the site you're debugging. To set up your JavaScript debugger in PHP Storm, you need to add a new debug configuration. From the PHP Storm menu, click Run, and then Edit Configurations. This opens the Run Debug Configurations dialog. Next, click the plus sign on the top left to add a new configuration, and select JavaScript Debug from the select box. This will create the new JavaScript Debug configuration and ask you to enter a name and the URL for the site you're debugging. Once you've created the JavaScript debugger, you're all set, and you can start debugging JavaScript alongside PHP. I've created a very small plugin that uses both PHP and JavaScript code. The PHP code contains three functions. One to enqueue the ajax.js JavaScript file. One to process an ajax request. And one to render a form using a shortcode. The ajax.js file registers an event listener on the forms submit button, which triggers a jQuery ajax request to the WordPress admin ajax.php URL, and should return the JSON object from the relevant function in PHP. Depending on the answer submitted to the form, a message should be displayed to the user in an alert. I've added the shortcode to a post on my test site. However, when I enter a value on the form and click Submit, I'm getting the Oh dear, an error has occurred message. This tells me the jQuery AJAX call is failing for some reason, because that's the message configured on the error callback of the AJAX request. As this plugin is using both PHP and JavaScript to process the request, I have no idea where the bugs are or where to start looking. I'll start debugging the JavaScript by setting my first breakpoint. In PHP Storm, I click in the gutter next to the line of code where I want the debugger to hold execution. In my case, I'll create a breakpoint on line 6, where the data object is defined. Then I need to let PHP Storm know it should start the JavaScript debugger. I do this by clicking Run Debug from the PHP Storm menu, or by clicking on the debug icon in the PHP Storm toolbar. This will fire up the JavaScript debugger in PHP Storm and open a new instance of the browser I specified in the debug configuration. At this stage, it's a good idea to check that the xdebug extension is set to debug mode in case I need to debug PHP later. I also prefer to move my PHP Storm and browser windows side by side so I can keep both on screen. I click through to my form, enter a value in the text field, and click the Submit button. The JavaScript debugger opens at the breakpoint, and I can step through the different lines of code using the Step Over button. The benefit of the debugger is that I can inspect any variables in my code in the Variables panel, as well as add specific variables to a watchlist. 
In this case, I'll add the data object to a watchlist and step to the next line in the code. Instantly, I can see that the Ajax nonce object key has an undefined value. I inspect the HFM Ajax objects in the variables panel, and I see that the nonce is stored in the nonce key, but in my code, I'm using Ajax nonce instead. First bug found. So I'll allow execution to complete, fix the incorrect code, and refresh the browser. I need to refresh the browser because I've made a change to the JavaScript code. I trigger the form submission again and the debugger kicks in. I step through the code and everything is assigned the correct value. But I'm still getting that oh dear an error has occurred message, so there's a deeper problem. Switching back to PHP Storm, I take a look at the debugger's console tab. This console output is the same output that I'd see in the browser's dev tools, which is very handy. This error message tells me something is going wrong in the admin ajax.php file. Given that this is a core WordPress file, there's probably something wrong with my plugin code, but I'm not sure what. What's great about this setup is that I can click on the admin ajax.php file in the debugger console and open that file. I can then place a breakpoint in the admin ajax.php file and see what's going on. Looking at this code, the most logical place to set a breakpoint is the spot where admin ajax creates the action variable. I'm going to then click the submit button on the form again and see what happens. Because I'm setting debug breakpoints in PHP here, I don't need to refresh the browser. The debugger session is still active and it stops at the first breakpoint in ajax.js. That's fine, so I allow the code to execute and it stops at my breakpoint in admin ajax.php. I then step through the code to see what happens on each line. As it turns out, it gets to the point of looking for an action hook with the format of wp underscore ajax underscore no priv, doesn't find one, and ends the execution of admin ajax. This instantly triggers my memory, and I check my plugin code. When I registered the relevant action hook in the PHP code, I didn't specify the no priv underscore option to indicate an Ajax request that doesn't require a logged in user. So I'll fix that action hook. Just to be sure, I'll also place a breakpoint in the first line in the callback function, so I can step through that code in case there are any other bugs. I allow the current code execution to finish and start the whole process again. This time it gets to my admin ajax callback function in my PHP code and there are no more bugs. So there you have it. How to enable JavaScript debugging in PHP Storm and how to use it alongside PHP debugging with Xdebug to debug all your code at the same time. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth development videos.